Yeah, hello everybody. This is Benjamin Snow again for you guys. This is a new review of the fifth episode of Skylines on Netflix here at Afterbus TV in Los Angeles. And honestly, this show was crazy, right? We're gonna talk about Arden, who was now once that 51% of the company Skyline Records. We also gonna talk about Zilan and how she's basically killing Torsten Gross. And also Jin is ending up in prison. That and a lot more now at the review here at After Buzz TV Los Angeles for Skyline on Netflix. I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Yeah, hello everybody, here we are one more time. It's another week. It's one more episode of Skylines on Netflix here at After Buzz TV in Los Angeles. And we want to talk about so many topics. And I know this episode was really, really crazy because a lot of stuff happened, a lot of bad stuff. We saw people dying, right, two times. I was like, oh wow, that's actually really crazy right now, the fifth episode. But let's start from the very beginning because the first scene that we're going to talk about is the scene between Khalifa and Samir. Because Samir, as you know, is hiding in a, in a very secret place right now with his friends because obviously Arden is looking for him because Samir killed a lot of people of Arden, right? But Khalifa is basically the person, for me personally, who's more in trouble because Khalifa wants to save his company, Skyline Records, that was he, that was he building with Samir. So Samir is a close friend, but Arden is his brother. So what are you gonna do? And that's always the question that I have when I'm thinking about Khalifa, when I see him like dealing with all that stuff, because he's the businessman now, right? He wants to save his company, his best friend Samir, that he was building the company with for so many years, but he also has his brother Arden, right? But at the end, we see Arden is giving him like the biggest thing ever, which is something that I didn't really see coming because Arden is asking him for shares, for company shares. He wants to be part of the company out of a sudden, and not just 50 or 49%, no. He wants to have 51% of the company. And I was like, and I was talking to myself, I was like, hopefully Khalifa is not giving that to him. And the interesting thing about this moment is we see the storyline, we see the story writers doing a very interesting thing. We just see Khalifa signing something, but they never really tell us how much percentage he's giving to Arden. So very, very interesting. That made me really exciting, obviously, to see the sixth episode. So maybe they did that a little bit on purpose, but it's really interesting because Khalifa has to do something because I feel like Arden is very powerful right now. He has to do something against his brother. He knows that he's stronger than Khalifa right now. He's still dealing with his drugs, right? He's still trying to make a big business out of it. And he knows that he can use Skyline Records as his kind of base, his headquarter to basically create the whole business for Frankfurt. So that's very interesting to see. So I hope Khalifa is still finding a solution and I also hope that he didn't give him 51% because that would be, that would be his end, to be honest. On, for me personally, if he does that, he cannot really compete with him anymore because 49, 51, what are you gonna do? Right, you still have shares in the companies, but he's the main guy. He's obviously the main owner, the, the main shareholder of the company. So that would be a little, little bit like a stupid move, to be honest. But, you know, you never know. We're going to be excited for the sixth episode. But before the sixth episode, we definitely have to talk about Ceylon. I mean, we had a feeling, right? I have to say, Ceylon, she seems kind of nice in the fifth episode. We had a feeling that she's opening up even more to Jin, right? It almost feels like they have a romance or something. I don't know how you felt, but there was something going on in the bar, and she's talking to him like that. She almost sees him as her boyfriend. And I was like, whoa, that's very, very interesting. But then the second we see Torsten Gross coming into the bar, Zilan is freaking out. And what is she doing? Obviously, she has her moment. She has her minute. She's killing Torsten Gross in the parking garage. And that was a moment where I really had to swallow because that's actually trouble. That's big trouble for pretty much everybody because think about that for a second. We watched all the episodes and we know that Torsten, Torsten Gross is connected to Mr. Dietz, who is the father of Jin. On the other hand, Zilan is very well connected to Arden, obviously, and Jin is working for Skyline Records, which is the label of Khalifa, right? But now what we see is we have this combination of the different relationship that I was always talking about who had these different storylines. Now out of a sudden, because of that moment of killing, it feels like all the storylines are coming together. And unfortunately, all the scenario was filmed by these cameras, by these security cameras, and they saw Jin, and at the end, Jin is ending up in prison, which is a, 
Not a very fortunate position to be in, obviously. I mean, we all know that he didn't really do much, but he's still in a bad position because he just wants to be a producer at the end of the day. He just wants to be a guy who's doing good music and beats for rappers. He doesn't really want to do anything with that stuff. And now, obviously, it was, was very, very obvious for me. I knew that this is gonna happen for sure. Sarah is gonna come back to the police station and is starting to get in touch with Jin. And remember, Jin is the son, as I said, of Mr. Deeds. And Sarah was always sending Torsten Gross out to talk about Mr. Deeds and really find more information about it. So this kind of triangle right now opens up a lot more discussion because Jin can probably tell Sarah a lot more about her own or his own dad at the end. And Sarah hopefully finds a solution for Khalifa and Arden. Because remember one thing, Arden, Khalifa, and Sarah are very well connected over the last decades. They know each other. They started kind of a rap band, right? Remember, Sarah went the more normal, well, the more normal, but more positive way in terms of like becoming a police officer. So she wants to do it right in life. Arden, on the other hand, he basically became more this kind of drug dealer. Khalifa, nice. He became a businessman. He just wants to do it right himself. But Sarah now has to figure out because she's in big trouble, not just for herself, but also for her family. And I was always telling myself all the episodes before, Sarah, how can you actually do that? How can you be so like into these kind of cases? Because you can even hurt yourself, your own private life. And now at the end, we just saw what happened. We see that one hand of Dejan, who got killed by Arden's people, laying in the front of Sarah's apartment door. The daughter is opening the door, the husband is opening the door, and everyone knows, okay, something crazy is going on here right now. And Sarah knows immediately, okay, I have to change that. I have to change my life. I have to change the situation. I have to find a solution for myself, Khalifa, and Arden. Otherwise, maybe my family is going to be in trouble as well. So that's a very, very interesting constellation right now. So I hope that Sarah finds a solution in episode six. I really hope that. And also Khalifa. I mean, I feel so sorry for this guy, seriously, because he's a businessman, as I said. He's a music guy. He just wants to be successful. And he's a good friend of Samir, right? They have this label together. They just created that from scratch. And now Arden is coming in. Of course, he gave money, we talked about that, for the record label from the very, very beginning. So they used the money to create all of that. But we, as we all know, if you want to create something from scratch, money is part of it, but you also have to have the will, you have the skill set, the attitude to really get it done. And that's what Khalifa did. He used the money, of course, I get it. So Arden should might get some percentages of the company. That's fair, I get that. But not 51%, please, come on. Please let me know what you think about that. Would you say that Arden should receive 51% of the company or not? That would be really great to hear from you. Let me know in the comments. Just write it in English or German. i definitely get back to you on that. And I can't wait for the sixth episode, which is also the last one, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's hard to believe. I hope for a second season. I, I'm sure it's coming. It's very successful like everywhere pretty much. What I heard so far, the reviews are great. So I'm really excited about it. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, reach out to me, right? You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. It's at Benjamin Schnau. And until then, see you next week. Bye-bye. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.